Hi students and friends, welcome to the channel, Learn and Teach by Sarayas. I hope you all are fine. I'm starting the new topic, which is about separation and purification. The learning outcomes of this for this lesson would be describe a solvent as a substance that dissolves a solute, solute as a substance that is dissolved in a solvent, solution as a mixture of one or more solutes dissolved in a solvent, saturated solution as a solution containing the maximum concentration of a solute dissolved in the solvent at a specified temperature. Let's begin the lesson. First SLO is about solvent. Solvent is present in large quantity that does the dissolving process. It is present in large quantity that does the dissolving. Usually here solvent means the liquid state of matter. Solvent, liquid state of matter. Now let's talk about solute. The second SLO is about solute, which is present in small quantity. Solute is the one which dissolves in the solvent. Solute dissolves in the solvent. It is present in small quantity. How solution is produced? Solution is produced when one or more solute is dissolved in the solvent. Let me write. It is produced when one or more solute is dissolved in the solvent. For example, salt solution, when a salt like potassium chloride is dissolved in water. Potassium chloride is a solute and water is a solvent. We have potassium chloride solution, potassium chloride solution. Here, potassium chloride its solute plus water solvent. Remember, solution is a mixture. It is not any kind of a new substance like compound. You can even make a solution by dissolving more than one type of solute in a solvent. Let me write, solution is a mixture. Remember, it's not a pure substance. What are saturated and unsaturated solutions? Now let's talk about saturated and unsaturated solutions. Saturated solution 
is a solution that contains the maximum concentration of a solute dissolved in the solvent at a specified temperature. It's a solution. that contains the maximum concentration of a solute. dissolved in a solvent in the solvent at a specified temperature. It can also be defined as a solution that cannot hold any more solute particles or it cannot hold any more solute particles. Consider dissolving a solute like sodium chloride in a solvent like water. If you will continue dissolving the sodium chloride, the time will come when no more sodium chloride will get dissolved in water. Such a solution is called saturated solution. We have a beaker here, it's a beaker. And we have dissolved some sodium chloride in it. So water. So it will form a saturated solution. We can increase the solubility of a solute in a given solvent by increasing the temperature. Increasing temperature increases the solubility. of the solute. Now, on the other hand, unsaturated solution is the one which cannot hold, which can hold, I mean, which can hold more solute particles. Solution that can hold more solute particles. In the above example, during initial addition of sodium chloride in water, we got unsaturated solution. Later, unsaturated solution becomes saturated after addition of enough sodium chloride in water, thus making it saturated. Initial addition of solute in a solvent gives unsaturated solution. In summary, solvent, solvent is a substance that dissolves a solute. Solute is a substance that is dissolved in a solvent. Solution is a mixture of one or more solutes 
dissolve in a solvent saturated solution is a solution containing the maximum concentration of a solute dissolved in the solvent at a specified temperature unsaturated solution is a solution containing the minimum concentration of a solute dissolved in the solvent at a specified temperature thanks for watching press like give comments and share my video for more videos subscribe my channel and press the bell icon